question one say true or false a part each angle of a rectangle is a right angle well this is your rectangle and we have studied in this exercise that rectangle has every angle as 90 degree there are four angles all measures 90 degrees thus a is correct b the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length this again is true these are pair of opposite sides similarly these are so we have opposite sides of a rectangle equal in length therefore it is true again c part the diagonals of a square are perpendicular to one another this is true you can see here because square is made up of two set squares having 45 45 and 90 degree measures the diagonal is common therefore they cut each other as a perpendicular b part all the sides of a rhombus are of equal length. Rhombus is made up of 4, 30, 60, 90 set squares. So you can see here, all the sides of rhombus are of equal length. Because common side is appearing of the 4 set squares. Therefore, it is true. E part, all the sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. Well, this is false. Only the opposite pairs of sides are of equal length. Here, this will not be equal to the adjacent side. Only opposite are equal. This is equal to another one. Therefore, it is false. F part. The opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. This is your trapezium made up of 3, 30, 60, 90 set squares. Well, here you can see that only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. The another one is not parallel. This one is not parallel. Therefore, this statement is false. So this was your first question. Second question. Give reasons for the following. Now you have to give the reasons the following statements a part a square can be thought of a special rectangle well the reason is here that a rectangle has opposite sides as equal and if we compress it from the other longest sides it will become a square and also this will have the properties of rectangle Therefore, a rectangle with all sides equal becomes square. When a rectangle is changed to have all the four sides equal, it becomes a square. Thus, a rectangle with all sides equal becomes a square. So this was the reason for your A part. Now B, a rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram. This is your rectangle. Now in rectangle, every angle is of 90 degree whereas in parallelogram it is not so but if we change a parallelogram we try to compress it to change its angle we try to compress it from here the bottom side and from the other portion to the upside it will change its angle 90 degrees so it will be a special form of parallelogram that is your rectangle because a rectangle holds true for the definition of parallelogram therefore this was your b now c part a square can be thought of as a special rhombus a rhombus with each angle a right angle becomes a square so this is your rhombus if we try to push it from this side to this side and from here to upwards 
we will change its angle into 90 degrees and the rest of the properties will be same as that of rhombus therefore a rhombus with each angle turning to right angle becomes a square this was the c part d squares this is your square rectangles parallelograms are all quadrilaterals well yes the definition of quadrilateral is it is a polygon having four line segments so all these are having four sided line segments therefore they are quadrilaterals e part square is also a parallelogram yes true because what is a parallelogram the opposite sides of a square are parallel so it is a parallelogram because the definition of parallelogram says that the opposite sides are parallel it holds true for the square similarly a rectangle is also a parallelogram its opposite sides are parallel therefore it was your question second question third a figure is said to be regular if its sides are equal in length and angles are equal in measure can you identify the regular quadrilateral so this is the definition of a regular figure so the figures we have studied so far only square holds true because its all sides are equal that's 1 2 3 4 you can see that is the definition of square and angles are also equal at 90 degrees so it is a regular figure or you can say also a perfect figure therefore a square is a regular quadrilateral whereas the others we have studied in this chapter don't hold this definition therefore this was your question third